Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSRsounds.com. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSRtuts, that's T-U-T-S. So today's video is going to be a serum tutorial checking out the Chaos LFOs. So just a quick rundown of the LFO structure inside of Serum. There are four basic LFOs that will allow you to drag and drop to modulate parameters. So you can just drag and drop anywhere that you need to on the synth to create this type of sound. Right? And then you can also go to your you can also go to your mod matrix and choose your source of the LFO and modulate your destination that way. Well with these chaos LFOs that reside in the global tab or the global section of Serum you can't drag and drop. You have to activate them via the the mod or the uh, the mod matrix. So you'll see right here chaos one and chaos two. Well, what they are, they are technically some Lorenz style waves, which are very complex and complicated LFO curves. So with these type of shapes, even if you go to one of your main four LFOs in Serum and you load up a, we'll do miscellane miscellaneous and load up a bit crazy there's still a discernible rhythm and pattern to that if you were to modulate a sound or your cutoff filter. Well, the Lorenz waves, they're, they're very chaotic, hence the name Chaos 1 and 2. So there's because there's two of them, uh, Chaos 1 and Chaos 2 have slightly different sounds or a slightly different effect to the sound. Uh, we're going to show you what they sound like just so you can hear what's going on. And the easiest way to do that is show you on an initial preset, and then I'll show you some tips and tricks that you can maybe apply to actual real world examples like in productions and in your actual leads or sounds. So let's actually go to our mod matrix to set this up and I'm going to select chaos one and for destination I'm going to select oscillator A coarse pitch. I still need to turn up the amount here in my mod matrix. So now if I hold a note All right, so you can see it's really crazy. It's not like your typical LFO. If you go back to your global tab, you can BPM sync this. Now, it's not going to be as strict of a BPM sync as with these four LFOs down here. It's going to get close, but because of the chaotic nature of the style of wave that this is, it's never going to be like something that you're going to be bobbing your head to and you know, like a dubstep wobble or something like that. Now, this mono button, what this will do is, for instance, right now, if I play a chord, like let's play, a, let's say I play a C major triad. You can hear that, I'm sorry, it's so annoying, but just the easiest way to show you, you can hear that each note in that triad, it, it has its own chaotic waveform or LFO being applied to it. Well, if you select mono, what will happen is you can play more than one note at a time, but the wave that will be creating that chaotic LFO will be the same for every note. So that's what that mono switch does. All right, so let's listen to the difference between chaos one and chaos two. So here's chaos one. Okay, and then I'll load up chaos two. So Chaos 2 is a little bit more subtle, as you can hear. So back to Chaos 1. So Chaos 2 takes a little bit longer to evolve into the quicker movements, whereas Chaos 2 or Chaos 1 starts pretty square off the bat with some good amount of movement and change. Well, you might be wondering, how do you use this, or how in the world do you use this with a sound? Well, I have a, a little progression worked up here, and I have a lead and a bass. Here's the bass. There's no chaos on that, but there is some chaos on this lead sound. Okay, so you can you can see here that where I applied the chaos in this instance, and I've been using this a lot so far in Serum, is I'll put the chaos on my wavetable position on V1 or even both oscillators if a sound's using both. So technically now I have a really interesting, unique LFO 
that's going to typically always have a different trigger point b- because of how chaotic a Lorenz wave is affecting my wavetail position. Well, what that does is to my ear, it makes it a little less robotic of a sound. And so you can see this would be helpful for pads or any type of sound that you want to have more of an analog feel where it's not as sterile and digital. So I've been putting my chaos uh, modulations on wavetail position. I'll even put it on the tuning for some of them. It's actually kind of fun to put on the filter if you put it on your filter and then you just boost it just a little bit. So maybe to like about two or three. If you, go up, if you go up too much, you kind of get those nasty artifacts. But you can get some really cool effects actually with these chaos LFOs. And it's something that will typically isn't going to be the focus of your sound unless you're maybe making a uprising type of uh, effect sound that just keeps on going up in pitch and you use it as a transitional sound. Then those chaos LFOs are great for that. But it's really helpful just to add some cool vibe and some flair to your sound so they're not as sterile and cold. So if you guys have any questions, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't checked out ADSRsounds.com, head on over there. Tons of cool things. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.